to Anuruddha, Anuruddha Sutta, and Guttara Nikaya 3.131. Then, Venerable Anuruddha went to Venerable Sariputta and, on arrival, exchanged courteous greetings with him. After an exchange of friendly greetings and courtesies, he sat to one side. As he was sitting there, he said to Venerable Sariputta, Here, by means of the divine eye, purified and surpassing the human, I see the thousandfold cosmos, and my energy is aroused and unsluggish. My mindfulness is established and unmuddled. My body is calm and unaroused. My mind is concentrated and gathered into singleness. And yet my mind is not released from the effluence through lack of clinging. Venerable Sariputta, my friend, when the thought occurs to you, by means of the divine eye, purified and surpassing the human, I see the thousandfold cosmos. That is related to your conceit. When the thought occurs to you, my energy is aroused and unsluggish. My mindfulness is established and unmuddled. My body is calm and unaroused. My mind is concentrated and gathered into singleness. That is related to your restlessness. When the thought occurs to you, and yet my mind is not released from the affluence through lack of clinging. That is related to your anxiety. It would be well if, abandoning these three qualities, not attending to these three qualities, you directed your mind to the deathless property. So after that, Venerable Anuruddha, abandoning those three qualities, not attending to those three qualities, directed his mind to the deathless property. Dwelling alone, secluded, heedful, ardent, and resolute, he in no long time entered and remained in the unexcelled goal of the holy life, for which clansmen rightly go forth from home into homelessness, directly knowing and realizing it for himself in the here and now. He knew, birth is ended, the holy life fulfilled, the task done, there is nothing further for the sake of this world. And thus, Venerable Anuruddha became another one of the Arahants.